All right, welcome. In this video, we will be going through setting up a virtual machine for Windows Server 2019. So, create a virtual machine. No, not going to use that disk because that's the 2018, 2018, 2008 version. So I downloaded <coughs> a trial version from Microsoft earlier today. So I've got an ISO file there. And we can install off that. Not be Microsoft and it only oh I might have to update my VM but there we go. Server and it's actually nineteen and where to drop it. Well oh. I shall create a new folder. Do I want it in my documents? No, I don't. Let's put it in Installing a server. Um, 60 would probably be enough, but let's expand it out to 80. Split it across multiple drives. And at least this one defaults to 2 meg or 2 gig of memory. Um, <coughs> That is the minimum required, but I, I mean, obviously the more memory you can give it, the better, just like with any operating system. I have 16 on this machine, so giving a virtual machine four as the primary server should enable it. Um, that's also why I've given it a little bit more hard drive space because the lower the memory allocation, the more paging it will require. Turn on the machine to start the install process. And you'll get the usual series of questions, language, currency formatting, keyboard, and hit the install now. And Uh, full Windows graphic environment consuming extra drive. It'll be useful if you want to use Windows desktop or have an app that requires it. Data center evaluation. Um, let's go the full data center, shall we? Um, It'll give us maximum options when we play around with it. Um, OK. 
custom now drive allocations drive zero we may want to um, break that up and have that split up into 32 is the minimum so we'll give it Uh, 41 okay so it's done the system reserved we've done 40 in our primary and then this one will just make a second. Again, it's always a good idea to separate your data from your operating system. So any applications in that that we end up installing during the course we can install on that second partition to separate it out. Now I'll uh, pause the recording here because you don't need to sit here and watch that just count up. So we'll come back when the next screen is available. And just to give you an update, it's still going. Installing features, installing updates just ticked off. So it'll be finished shortly and we'll come back. Well, restart. Three, two, one. It's always an exciting time when it's booting. No, we have progress. Maybe. The Windows icon came back on the screen. <laughs> So, as you can see, it's an exciting process. Alright, it's just about to boot. And we're back. So, it rebooted once again and then came up with this customized settings screen, which you basically put in the first user account, which is always the administrator, and enter your usual uh, set of password dots.
Now, <coughs> I'm going to keep mine as simple as I can get it. It's not like it's a production machine. It's only here for learning. Doesn't meet the complexity requirements, so therefore it wasn't complex enough. All right. Let's try that one. Yep, accepted that one. Usual combination of upper and lower case and alphanumeric is required. So, um, that's the wrong time for where we're situated. Uh, And I'll just log in to prove that the installation was successful. I'm going to keep this video relatively short and just do a series of short videos for this. So as you just like first time booting into Windows, when we set up Windows, it goes through setting up the settings first and we should get a little bit of a graphic interface all right data center evaluation da 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 don't worry about that do we want it discoverable well yes and we kick off into server manager so quick start guide and that we will go through in the next video so as you can see just the installation process which is the activity number one for this unit is very simple and easy to do we'll come back and look at the server management dashboard and setting up the first roles and setting the time clock and that in the next video just wanna as I said want to do these videos in short little snippets so that they're easy to refer back to when you need them all right end of video one i'll catch you in the next one bye for now